Hey guys, Captain Thief here with more Dust Force. Let's just fly right into the wall, reset the timer, because uh, Northgate actually told us, told me, told anyone who would listen from the rooftops that uh, it records your run so long as it's less than 16 minutes. And I am well under 16 minutes, but if my winning run has like 48 seconds of just standing there to start with, man, that would be actually a pretty good prank that no one would fall for because no one would see it because I'm going to be like rank, uh, let's see, there's like 1800 people who beat this level and I'm actually in the top 1200 which makes me feel good. Um, at least beat this level within 16 minutes it is. Right? I, I gotta see that. I gotta see like the bottom page and see if it even recorded their run but it still has their place on the leaderboard or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, if I had 48 seconds to start with, no one's going to watch it except for friends. Or anybody who happens to just see... Oh, somebody just named themselves Captain. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll watch this. I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, I hit the wall, guys. You can't tell me I didn't. Alright. Now for my most dangerous move. My dropping frames attack. Ow frames didn't actually drop yet. They were earlier. Uh, you know what? Not even. Not even. If I miss the dust, I want the dust. Oh, that was a close one, actually. Alright. I like this move. I like just bounding off the wall there. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. I think I've really improved at this beginning spot. I think I've also gotten quite good at the uh, middle spot that I said was giving me a lot of trouble. I just gotta make sure I'm uh, attacking the cube while it's about leg height. No, chest height. Yeah. And then that puts me at about the right height if I hit all these to uh, climb fairly easily. Okay. There we go. Alright. I got it. But this part that's coming up, not this part that I'm on, but the spiky hole part, that's the only name I can think of for it, to be honest, is uh, what's going to be my downfall because there's. I don't see any experimenting or any different way to go about doing this except just doing what's really hard and clinging onto the ceiling and then instantly not clinging to the ceiling. I think it's about rolling my thumb at just the right time. Ow. There's actually some degree of air control while you're climbing and smacking. It's kind of fun, actually. Okay. I pulled a north gate away from me. Alright. Now Lu Bu can't attack. Oh, wait, that's the Hu Lao gate. No? Is it? Yeah, it is the Hu Lao gate. I was mixing that up with Kung Lao from Mortally Combat, which is the kid version of Mortal Combat. <laughs> you know what? This is sounding more and more stupid as I go along. So let's keep going. Oh, man. Um, and I know that name so well, Kung Lao, because he was uh, player two, or player one, if you want to think of it that way, in uh, Mortal Combat Shaolin Monks, a game where you only could play as, uh, shoot, Kung Lao or... Uh, uh, what was the other guy's name? The guy who did the bicycle kicks and like went... You know, I'm not even going to imitate the sound he makes. Uh, what was his name? It's not coming back to me. <clears throat> Liu Kang? Nah, that was the bad guy, wasn't it? I don't remember. No way, it was Liu Kang. Yeah. I remember because it's like one of them was LK and the other one was KL. So it's like they're opposites of each other. And they don't like each other in that game, but you know, it was, it was couch co-op. And <clears throat> this is one of those games where I feel like it was an alright game, but I think with even like the smallest of mods, it would have been a good game. Maybe not a great game, but a good game. And where am I going with that? Where on earth am I going with that? Well, you may not notice it if you're just watching somebody play it, but if you are playing it, it it's kind of annoying because you actually earn EXP. And it's kind of a 3D beat em up with, you know, kind of Mortal Kombat y moves and Mortal Kombat y deaths. 
but uh, you level up, but you only learn new moves, and these new moves aren't any particularly stronger than the old moves, they're just different. Maybe they are objectively better, but you don't actually feel like you're getting stronger because these uh, normal trash mobs, as I'll call them, still take a while to kill. And, you know, sometimes you gotta kill them to get back to where you were and stuff. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, what happened there? I have no idea. I have no idea. So I was thinking, you know, if they made it so that you were objectively stronger, like, I don't know, you could level up your damage so that you could actually kill things in two moves or something, well, then you wouldn't be able to build up a combo and, you know, actually get a real fatality going. But still, I would feel stronger. Or they could just make it so the trash mobs stop respawning after a point. That could work too, because, I don't know, as it was, you would backtrack a little bit and you'd have to kill a bunch of things. And I don't know. I just don't know. It was okay. Toward the end it started getting, getting tedious, but you know, up until then, it was okay. Alright. Yeah, I kind of like games where you actually, your stats actually increase. This game, you're not, your stats don't increase at all. You're, uh, it's just a matter of player skill. But, uh, you know, I, I can, I can deal with that. And you can say that, well, games that you unlock new moves and stuff aren't leveling games either. They just, you know, improve your player skill. Well, okay. But I, I would have preferred my beat-em-ups to have an objective stat-based leveling system. My nose itched. That's what I'm blaming it on. It didn't itch uh, until after I died, but I'm going to blame the death on the itch anyway. Alright, what's the problem, Dustman? You had such an easy time of this earlier. Okay, you, do, you actually have to hold something of an up. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, oh. oh, by the way, if you if you haven't been noticing, I've uh, switched out the controller. Not for the keyboard, but for the VR headset. I'm actually doing all these moves in my living room. Off of walls and stuff. I, I broke... I sh utterly shattered my leg on the uh, coffee table earlier when I was trying to do this earlier part so I'm doing this with one leg now but so far I'm doing pretty good though in between these howls of pain <laughs> that I'm uh, guttural uttering um, I'm, I'm editing them out <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, this is definitely the most fun I've had while playing a double S rank level that's what I'm going to call these. They're not the gold levels. They are the double S rank levels. Oh, can I still make it? No. I could if I wait a little longer. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, let's stop making myself laugh because I'm not that funny. Um, yeah. I've been noticing uh, VR games have been taking off. I'm kind of hoping that they do, to a degree, take off, but in another vein, I, I feel like it's not the hardware and how amazing it is that determines what succeeds or not, it's what people like to play. And part of that has a bridge in between it as well, in that it depends on what game developers make. Um, I, I actually kind of liked the uh, idea of the Wii U, by the way, I don't own one, full disclosure, in that it kind of enabled two players to have an asymmetrical experience and that uh, one could see look at something while the other one was doing something yes you can pull this off with multiple screens on a typical TV screen but that doesn't count okay it just doesn't just ask any groundhog they'll tell you twice um, why am I quoting the great glass elevator I don't know why didn't they make a Great Glass Elevator movie yet? That would have been a better movie to make in the style of, um, shoot, Tim Burton than Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, no deaths up until that point. Hooray for me. And I started talking about the Great Glass Elevator. Vicious Knids? Or is it Nids? I think it's Nids. I think Gene Wilder actually pronounced it Nids at some point in the regular movie. Yeah. I don't know. Roald Dahl was an interesting person. 
Oh, hey, I got my uh, thing. Hey, is this an SD or SC? SC Johnson, a family company? Is it? Oh, <gasps> SB. Okay, SB on. Uh, I know that's S P on, but you know S B on. To be honest, you know our B's and our P's are not too far away, and in fact, the Chinese don't mind us switching them around. You know, when they give us a word to say. Uh, okay, no, that's not always true, but sometimes. Um, no, actually, I can't really think of any instances, so I'm just going to drop the topic right now. What I'm going to get into, though, is plosives, and plosives are fun. What's a plosive, Captain? Well, okay. Hold out a Kleenex in front of your face and say, Poisonous penguins pick up picky platypuses. Yeah. Uh, did the Kleenex move a whole bunch? Yes. Well, that's because in English, the letter P is a plosive. There's a puff of air every time you uh, say anything with a P in it. At least there should be. You can actually say P without plosiving it, or whatever on earth the verb would be for that. Um, in Chinese, though, whoops. Nice save. In Chinese, though, the B is the plosive, and you're supposed to puff your air with that. Uh, ah! What did I tell you? What did I tell you? This part, right here. Source of three deaths so far. Uh, maybe I should just restart. No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm in the middle of something. And I won't be in the middle of something when I'm actually this far. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's let's try uh, bees then. The bent bikes bite vicarious. No, that's not even a word. That's vicarious and vicarious. Wait, why am I mixing up those two words? I shut up, shut up, Spider Purr. Just shut up. I'm sorry. He told me that his friend thought I was of a different persuasion. I am of no persuasion. Wait, no, I'm of a persuasion. I'm just not like very public about. It. Wait, can I take back the last minute of talking? <laughs> Okay, yeah, plosives are where and etc. And then I said all those things, but then I didn't say the thing that I said. And that was perfect, okay. Alright. So. I don't get my super death swing back until I destroy all those things anyway. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Bent bikes, bite, biscuits. B battered biscuits, beer battered biscuits. Bah. Okay, there is a little bit of a puff, but it's not uh, its not a full-on um, pl plosive like the letter P is. Speaking of which, I like the way the plosive is itself a plosive when pronounced. Now, you might be wondering, um, why aren't there plosives on my audio? And that is because I don't actually have a pop filter. I was actually looking into making one, but uh, no. I did the wrong thing. I did a wrong... Ow. Uh, pop filters are something of a, like, a very small mesh net that sits in front of the microphone and it's supposed to stop puffs of air from overwhelming the uh, microphone and causing uh, volume spikes. Well, okay, they're not volume spikes. To you, they, they sound really annoying, like pops or something. I don't know. You, you've heard them before, though. The reason why I don't have pops uh, or plosives or whatever is because the microphone of mine doesn't actually sit right in front of my mouth. It's actually a little off to the side, uh, quite a ways off to the side actually, and that's because it's really short. Otherwise I think it would probably be a bigger issue, but you know, thankfully it hasn't been. And if it had been, I probably would have been trying to manually edit them out, which is a bad idea. And, uh, you know, you may think, oh, you can just cover the microphone with a sock and that would work. Well, one sock isn't good enough. Two socks is kind of good enough. Three socks is better. But then you're starting to muffle your own voice. And it's just not as good as just a regular... Um, to get the best balance between not muffling your own voice and still filtering the pops, 
you gotta go with a pop filter. But then you need a fancy dancy microphone like my friend uh, the Iron Genius has. I think he has like a, either a Blue Yeti or a Snowball or I don't know. He mentioned it like five times a video. No, he doesn't. Um, but I, I'm just not the kind of person to get a microphone. Nothing too fancy anyway. Or at least, you know, if I had my own room for recording this, I'd consider it. Might play games at desk or something, but uh, that's not what I do. I play in an easy chair, guys. Alright. I still killed it. I still murdered that pussy. Uh, you know what? No matter which way you take that sentence, I don't like it. Particularly the uh, implication that I killed a cat. So let's, uh, let's just ignore the fact that I said that. Captain Thief, uh, saying things then unsaying them since uh, five minutes ago. Okay. So, yeah, I've actually gotten a lot better at this level, I think. We are, like, on the cusp. <laughs> There's another plosive for you. Of getting double S rank here. Maybe I'll just play this until I get it. Ah, no, I can't, I can't pull that off. Not... Till Tuesday and it's Saturday it's actually Saturday and I actually woke up at 9 a.m. That, that feels wrong I usually sleep until 1 which is actually wronger because then I feel like the I'm not sure what it is but psychologically I feel like the day is already almost over so I'm like oh and I slept the day away but I need that sleep because I'm actually really horrendous about my sleep schedule during the weekdays Staying up till 1 or 2 and then waking up at 7.30 to go to work. So, you know, I store all the sleep debt for a weekend cap that you can take care of. And yeah, I did wake up at 9, but I actually went to bed around close to 11, so I got tons of sleep. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I uh, originally wanted to wake up early to do some recording, but it's actually already 3 in the afternoon when I started. Mm, close to 2.30 actually. Uh, oh, that was so close. Now it's just easy mistakes I'm making, not the uh, ones where I... When they're mistakes I wouldn't figure out I've made, or mistakes where I've gone through it before a thousand times, I don't feel too bad. But if it's one where I'm expecting to occasionally mess up, then I feel bad. Which doesn't make any sense. Because you shouldn't feel bad about failing in the usual ways, guys. Uh, Cap, if you're at this point, maybe you should just turn off checkpoints. No, it's bad luck. Uh, or something. Lots of frame drops there. I don't I don't know. Lots of slowdown anyway. Maybe I shouldn't talk about the slowdown. And yet, how am I not getting audio desync with this slowdown? Because, you know, my audacity isn't slowing down. But my game is, so how on earth does it link up without uh, slowing down? I don't know. Maybe... Uh, maybe I'm just using the, the terms wrong. If it's frame drops, then it's still going just as fast. I just don't see um, all the animation. Like if Dustman were running ten or you know ten feet, and I normally see him at the one foot mark, at the two foot mark, at the three foot mark. Maybe he's running now, and I'm seeing him only at the two foot mark, the four foot mark, at the six foot mark. But it's still the same amount of time in between. Maybe that's what's going on. That's, that's my explanation, anyway. I don't know. I'm not a computer science guy. <clears throat> I'd like to be. I would actually really like to be uh, some sort of specialist between computers and finance. And then take over the world with my stop-loss orders. Oh, wait. That's not actually the in-between of technical stuff and uh, finance. If I were, though, I feel like what I would be is um, a minor of uh, finance techniques. And why do I say minor? Because when you mine for gold, you, mine, you dig in a spot, usually finding nothing but dirt. But then eventually you find a gold vein or whatever. And then uh, I guess other people would find it too. And uh, it quickly depletes. The gold does not come back. Um... And then you gotta find more. Well, just like that, uh, you would find a technique that works. And then, if you're working for a company or something, I guess somehow it leaks about how to do this, or maybe somebody else discovers it. 
and then all of a sudden everyone's doing it so everyone has this valuation method that uh, works and well it drops whatever stocks you would buy with it down to no advantage so it's not advantageous to do it anymore and just like gold the gold is gone or something I'm not I'm trying not to be too fancy here and yet it's like very unfancy all right no dying dust man that's not fair I got an SB though I feel pretty happy happy cappy is happy maybe I just need to practice this a bit Ugh. my wrist sometimes it like starts to hurt a little bit or whatever and I need to uh, just kind of twist it and then it snaps or something I don't know what's going on well captain that's Alzheimer's and by Alzheimer's I mean carpal tunnel and by carpal tunnel I mean you should really stop abusing your wrist or whatever okay thanks I'll do that I don't think I'm typing incorrectly okay if I died here that would actually be really embarrassing well not embarrassing but you know troubling uh, okay clearly I uh, if I got here without dying there's gonna be issues because <laughs> even though I'm used to it it's still difficult and when Captain gets somewhere without dying it's like 50 skill levels of his dust force job has just evaporated and now he's a level 25 captain thief not the 75 captain that we all know and love and he can't take on this very tough monster in Saruta Baruta captain stop talking about Final Fantasy 11 and beat this okay okay all right uh, there's no way on earth I'd, I'd get that. You're just going way too fast once you fall. Uh, thanks. Didn't really need it though. Okay, I'll uh, gradually make my way down then. And beat it. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, how long has it been? Uh, 22 minutes, okay. I did get to SB though. I'm so close I can almost taste it guys. Almost. I'm getting down to the other people who also shouldn't have quit yet. Hint, hint, guys. We're so close to winning. Why did you give up at SB? Why did you give up at SA? Who could? Who would? Who should? Not me. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Captain Thief playing Giga Difficult. I'll see you in the next one. I don't know. I just want to start the next episode out here. And uh, we'll get this. Maybe not next time. I'm hoping next time, but let's not, you know, get our hopes too high. All right, see you then.